They are the best team in the American League, and tonight thousands of fans lined up to get tickets to see them play. The Indians hope to extend their winning streak at home. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson joins us live outside Progressive Field. Curtis, did we win? Did we lose? And no matter what, was it a good game? And, and really, that's all that matters. I'm going to leave the winning and losing part to sports because I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. There's your tease right there. But in any case, the Red Hot Indians actually had the weather to go along with that winning streak. But, uh, you know, things didn't really work out, even though that happened. A lot of people wanted to head out to the ballpark. Cleveland Indians baseball right now is a lot like a hot dog. At least it is to these three guys. All the other teams got to catch up to us. <laughs> we mustered this over for a long time. We realized we were the hottest team in the league. Number one record. No big deal. The tribe is sporting its best home record since the roaring 90s. And while it is true the season is barely a month old, long suffering fans have a reason to hope. It's exciting. I mean, we've been hearing so long about this rebuilding of the team. Now, to finally see it, it's. Uh, it's great. And if you build a winning team, people will come. The tribe is selling more walk-up tickets than it has in years. The win streak has also been a windfall for downtown bars and restaurants. We're looking at a huge bump, especially early in the year. Thank God we got some good weather finally to kind of help things out. But uh, so far, so good, and it's a huge increase from what it was previous years. So business is booming, the tribe is winning, and fans are enjoying the ride, right? Not so fast. After all, this is Cleveland. Spring hopes have led to long summers, cruel falls, and winters of discontent. I've been fooled too many times, so I'm going to try and be a realist going forward. I think we will win again. So you're hooked on the winning? You're in Cleveland. That won't last long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little joke there. Unfortunately, the win streak rather was snapped. Uh, tonight. More of those details later on in sports. Of course, a lot of people at the newsroom kind of blamed me tonight for the loss, saying that perhaps my being out here jinxed the team. I would remind everyone that we're in Cleveland and curses and jinxes and all that sort of stuff were here long before I got here. Let's hope it turns around tomorrow night. Live in Cleveland, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.